Good morning and welcome to Thursday, May 21st, 2020. And today's devotion is titled, Mankind is Without Excuse. And we'll be reading out of the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 20. And it reads, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. When God created Adam and breathed in him the breath of life, Adam became a living soul. Every person born since Adam has a soul. Every soul without Jesus is empty and unfulfilled. God is our creator. Every soul innately craves him, and only he can satisfy that craving. However, many souls try to fill that God-sized hole in their souls with pleasurable, although temporary, objects of affection that will never bring lasting safety. The list may include physical, sexual, natural, unnatural, environmental, material, or monetary objects to plug that hole, but nothing will bring lasting satisfaction like God. This innate, empty, soul-craving sends one into an all-out investigative search for meaning and fulfillment. And in too many cases, people stop just short of finding the God they are seeking. Having a relationship with God is like a completed puzzle picture. But leave God out, and the picture will never be complete. Furthermore, God does not play hide-and-seek with us. His, his revelation of himself is explicit. Look around, listen, smell, taste, touch, and see the wonder and amazement around us which leads us toward God. And yet, some choose to be deaf, blind, and dumb to him. But they have no excuse. Paul explains in Romans 1.21, Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. And our final thought comes from Romans 1.25, and it reads, Who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. You know, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek him and all his righteousness. I'm sorry, seek the kingdom of God first, and all these things shall be added unto you. So many people seek the wrong thing first, and then expect the positive return on investment, so to speak. If I put all my attention and focus and money and time into this object, I'll get all the happiness that the world offers me. And so many times people become despondent, they get frustrated because they're not receiving that fulfillment that they're looking for. But like I said, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God. Seek that first, and then these things shall be added unto you. If you seek God first and his kingdom first, then the blessings, the love, the fulfillment, filling that empty void in your heart, that will be filled. But you got to seek the kingdom first. So many people get it backwards, and then they wonder why they're not happy. It's because they've got their priorities out of whack. So just remember 633 in Matthew. Seek first the kingdom of God, and then these things shall be added unto you. So get your priorities in order, and you'll be amazed at how much smoother and fulfilled and happy, truly, truly happy, you'll become. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.